everyone today I'm going to talk about combinational circuit and here we can see an example of a combinational circuit where we have one AND gate and two OR gate so the equations I have already written for you guys and I will just explain it so first we can see that A is going inside to the AND gate and then B and C is the input for the OR gate and we know that OR gate will be B plus C which will be going in to the AND gate and then A and then B plus C is coming out and then we have C which is here which is going there and then we have what A B plus C from this out from this output going here and C going here which is an OR gate so it's going to be plus so this is the equation ultimate equation I'm going to get from this circuit and if we want to simplify this equation we can also simplify it we can distribute it which we get a b plus a c and then plus c and then we take common of c which will be a plus one and in the boolean laws we know that a plus one is equal to one so it's going to be a b plus c and now i'm going to build a circuit which will be based on this equations and i'm going to build this circuit i mean if i do this one is going to be more simpler circuit. I can also do this one and the output will be same. So I'm going to use this circuit and you use the Tinkercad to do the circuit. And we will also use the simulation to check the output we have. So first we have the AND gate and then an OR gate and then another OR gate. So we can use the AND gate. IC chip which is 74HC08 and then 74HC32 and then we need three inputs because ABC is three inputs which will be three resistor for three inputs I'm using 330 ohm for the resistor value and I need another resistor so I'm just gonna copy it which will also be 330 ohm and then one LED then cathode will be connected to the ground and then positive to positive side we can make it red then negative to the negative terminal which will be black I prefer to use black and then we use the dip switch so it's going to be connected to the positive terminal three inputs I prefer red so it's red and black for the ground so then I have the 9 volt battery. Also, I'm going to use the 5 volt regulator. And then this black wire is going to go to the ground. And this positive is going to go to the input of the 5 volt regulator, ground to the ground. And then output will be connected to the power supply. Sorry about that, it's going to be go to the ground. And then now, let's do the connections. So first we have A going to the end gate, one input. So let's make this A and then one input is going to be, you can use any input, 4A or 4B, I'm just going to use 4B. And then this is the power, you guys can see, so it's, this is going to be go to the positive terminal. Then this is the ground. Then we have two more inputs, which is going to the OR gate. So, inputs. And then we have another OR gate. And in the IC chip, we have lots of gates. So we can use one IC chip and use lots of gates in it. So we have two gates, we're gonna use two gates for it. So first, let's see what's happening here. So here we see that A is going to the AND gate that we put it here. And then we see the output of the OR gate is going to the input of the AND gate. So the output of this one, which is 4, don't use 3 because this is, we are using input 4B, input 4A. So the output will be 4A is going to be the input because you guys can see it's the input of the input of the end gate so it's going to be the input of the end gate which is will be here see and then the output of the end gate will be connected to another gates of the or gate so the output for because i use the input for a input 4b so it's going to be connected to the input 3b 
and then I have another output from C coming to the input OR gate. C coming to the input OR gate here. The output will be connected to the resistor so that which is connected to the LED so we can see the results of the output by seeing if the LED is on or turn off. Did you see what happened? I did it intentionally. Yes, I did it intentionally. So see, this power is going to go to the power supply or else you're going to see that because most of the time I see many of my classmates doing that and they have this and then they don't understand what happened. This is what happened because you don't connect it to the power supply in the ground. When both of them is turned on, it's on. But let's see with C. Yeah, it's turned on can check thank you so much for watching and i would be very happy if you guys like subscribe my channel